All right, now that we got our theme fixed up, you'll probably notice with these huge images that are going outside the container of the site. By the way, I'm using um, WPTest.io data. They just give you an XML file and in your site, on your development environment or wherever you're developing your WordPress theme, you can upload this XML file and it'll automatically populate all kinds of content for you so you can test your themes out. So with me putting that in my theme, I'm able to determine that you know I need to work on my images here. So let's go ahead and fix that up. So in our theme files, first we want to make sure our gulp task is running. Looks like it is. Just to make sure I'll do it again for you. It's gulp. All right, I'm going to go into SAS media and then media.scss. And then I'm just going to make for all images, I'm going to make all images responsive. A good way to do that is to do the height, set it to auto, do a max width of 100%, and then do display block. Save that. See that our gulp task ran good. If we reload the front end of our site, you can see that it fixed those images for us. Now they're in the gallery like they should be. All images are now fixed. Moving through the site um, and the different pages, this WP test provides a lot of good stuff that we can check out. So we can go through here, we can see how the ordered lists are, ordered lists are looking with material design, how all the headers look, HTML tags, image alignments, look pretty good everything centered this large image is inside the container now looks like we don't have any text alignments oh here we do yeah center left right looks good pagination oh here's another problem so we have this non-breaking text here that's going across the whole site it's not breaking, so let's click into here. What's cool about this WP test is they actually give you some styles that we can use. So I want to set the styles for the whole site. So I probably need to, I'm gonna grab like the container that gets the whole site. So here we go. I'm gonna target the class site right here and copy these styles. And then in my style sheet, I need to figure out where I want to go with it. So let's do post and pages. And then I'm going to put this at the top. Site, target everything, put those styles in there. Save that. Gold task is completed. Now let's refresh this post. And there we go. Now all the text breaks in, with inside the container. And since we targeted the whole the whole container of the site it even is doing the comments it looks like so everything's good there so we can go back to our blog and make sure that there's nothing else that we see that's wacky all these type of stylings are going to be you know, personal preference on how you want to style those. But everything's looking pretty good. So now that we got those styles in, we can actually start targeting, you know, the widget area or the actual post. We're going into a post and styling the individual pages and in post. So let's get these pushed up to our GitHub repository. Git status. Let's see what we changed here. Added some things to the style sheets. Looks good. Git add. responsive images and breaking text
make sure everything is up. Responsive images and breaking text. Alright, so that video is done. I'll see you in the next.